Hello, hello to all of my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. This message is for earth signs, okay? Spirit guides, universe, ancestors of the highest white light. Please give me clear and precise messages for earth signs. Last but not least. So this will be a blackout, okay? So please only take what resonates, all right? The um camera to this device is not really that good. But just make sure that you're only paying attention to the messages that you're needed to pay attention to. Okay, so take only what resonates, okay? This is for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, Spirit, give me messages for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, please. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. So, someone is trying to keep you in a lack, okay? Someone is trying to keep you weighed down, and they want you to feel as though that um, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you won't be able to do it. So someone is trying to make you give up or feel as though you should give up. It's a negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. Fear surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. More Poor timing for becoming self-employed. So someone is trying to make you lose your job or lose money. Okay, someone is doing money spells. Someone is trying to curse you. Okay, someone is sending a lot of hexes towards you. Okay, be mindful of the thoughts that you're thinking. At this time, okay, because those thoughts are being sent to you. So make sure that you are finding time to balance yourself, meditate, and ground, okay? So let's get more spirit, please. For Earth signs, that thing flew all the way over there. Yeah, we have Dreamer at the bottom of the deck. Check out Air Signs reading, okay? We have the Seven of Cups, so this is definitely all about illusions, okay? This says, make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. If someone is trying to have you um, procrastinate or someone is trying to make you feel drained, someone could be trying to make you not have enough um, self-esteem within yourself to push and move forward. So someone is also playing with your confidence. It's something about your confidence. Someone is trying to um, interfere on that or they're trying to cause blockages within that. With the Dreamer card, you check out on Air Signs Reading. This is all about a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. You trusting into your dreams and your visions and bringing them into reality. Two, two, two. Okay, so Spirit is one of you guys to continue to take that leap of faith. Okay, regardless of the blockages, you are being protected. Okay, you have Archangel Samuel that is protecting you. Okay, at this time. So if you are having negative thoughts that's going to hinder you from feeling like you can accomplish your goals, then you need to take some time out to um, cleanse your energy, okay? So keep meditating and keep your energy cleansed, all right? We have the high priestess. It's something about something that you know. They're trying to not, they don't want you to tap into your intuition to find out the person that's actually coming towards you, okay? Because with this two of one, someone has already chose and made the decision to come towards you, and they're trying to block you from who this actual person is, okay? So be mindful about that. Be mindful of telling people too much of a situation pertaining to you or your person, okay? So if you are someone that you get readings or you are a reader, be mindful of the information that you're disclosing because you do have people that are trying to tap into your energetic field to cause blockages and delays. So that way you can feel like you are at a lack and that you your dreams that you are manifesting for yourself won't come into fruition, okay? The five of wands is in reversing the two of swords. You could be dealing with a Leo. Someone is definitely standing their ground and um, standing up for their boundary. Okay. They're putting up boundaries. Okay. This person is definitely standing in their light. Okay. This person definitely wants to heal. We have a time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Exactly. So you're going to be getting a lot of downloads and you're going to be seeing a lot of epiphanies. You're going to be having a lot of epiphanies as well about this decision that you're having to make, okay? Because for some of you, you do have two people in your energetic field, okay? One of them is trying to cause confusions and delays and blockages, and another person is trying to get through these confusions, delays, and blockages, okay? So you have to use your discernment with this high priestess card, okay? Because someone is willing to put up a fight for you, and someone is willing to Someone just needs to let go of the ghost, okay? Just plain blank, like period. And someone is willing to put up a fight for you. So you have to be able to use your discernment on who these people are that's coming towards you or that's playing in your energetic field, okay? But just know the more that you return to center and keep your energy cleansed and meditate, it will not affect you. It will go right back to 
those people that are causing these delays and these blockages and these setbacks, okay? These setbacks, these minor setbacks that you are uh, experiencing right now is just pushing you forward and making you come back 10 times stronger, okay? So you have to know that the um these battles are not your battles. I mean, your battles to fight. So that's why your spirit guides is wanting you to choose your battles wisely, okay? We can always sit up here and want to be able to like defend ourselves but sometimes we are having to step back and let our guides and our ancestors and the most high come into play okay because when they come into play they get the job done correctly okay and people won't even know where these attacks hit them because they have to be mindful those attacks that they're hitting you with this nine of wands is going right back to you because you are very much shielded and guarded and in so much protection okay you have so much light surrounding you there is nothing but protection. So it's like a force field. Okay. It's a reflecting. Like everything that these people are throwing and projecting onto you to cause all these delays and setbacks is just bouncing and ricocheting off of you and going back towards these people. These people are operating in their shadow. Okay. With this moon energy. All right. They don't like the fact that you're calling their behinds out and you're spit you're putting people onto game of their tactics and who they are and how they operate. Okay, your enemies are getting worn out. Okay, they're trying to stay in the game as long as they can, but they're not understanding that this game isn't physical. Okay, it's spiritual. So, the more that you continue to focus on your discernment and you tap into your intuition, you go within, you pray, you fast, you meditate, you do all those spiritual practices for you in a ritual, in a ritual ritualistic way for you okay in a healthy way to where you're not causing harm to anyone to affect them okay because you got a lot of people that's trying to affect your health they're trying to cause your health to decline okay they don't want you to be healthy 7 11 on the clock okay and there's a lot of people that's coming up against you because they know that you are the empress. Okay. We have the divine feminine energy. Time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. Exactly. They're trying to figure out how you keep continuing to keep, uh, create, how you keep continuing to, um, come up with more and more ideas, even when they try to come up against you to stop you. They're not noticing that you are the phoenix that's going to continue to rise from the ashes whether they like it or not okay because you are in charge of yourself it's called self-discipline and when they have when they learn to have self-discipline within their self and not go around and overstep people boundaries and do all this geeking hoop blah whoop blah stuff they will understand that you will always win you will always come out on top. You will always be the one that's going to get victory because you're not the one that's trying to send these attacks to people just blatantly. These people are just blatantly attacking you because they don't like you or because they're insecure or because they have inner child wounds that they need to heal that they don't want to face and see and realize or take accountability for. So when they look at you and they see you standing in your truth, unapologetically it, it it affects them it, it beats it hurts them to their core because they don't want to admit that if they just take the time out to heal and get to why they feel this way when they look at you or when they um see you standing in your truth why does it affect them so much because remind you these people had a choice to just and a decision to make when it comes to healing but in ch instead, they chose to be an enemy towards you and come up against you. I'm telling you, you are going to have to really tap in, Earth Signs, to really discover and see who your person is because your person is being hidden because it's a veil over you and your person right now. You and your person is trying to get to each other. I don't know. It's giving me a scene. You like, you know how I'd be like, dun, 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 Okay. I will be back to do another channeling, to do another reading. Okay. This is Earth Science Reading. We're at seven minutes. I love you guys. Like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. Hit that bell note. Peace.